Welcome to the channel. Thank you to everyone for tuning in. So in today's video, I have a triple AliExpress unboxing for you guys. These are three watches which I ordered in or around the sales and I think one of them has been sent in to me. So today is like normal unboxings, we're just gonna take them all out, check the specs, check the dimensions, introduce the watches to you guys, and then I'll follow up in the upcoming weeks and days with full reviews. So I've got a Thorn, I've got a Cadison. Now this Cadison is actually not released on AliExpress yet. It will be released towards the end of September. So it'll be a good way to actually look at this one before it gets out there. And then I've got one from Watch Dives. Now the interesting thing about all three watches, they are in around the hundred pound, give or take 20 pounds here and there. Uh, so, you know, these are really good budget options uh, from three really good budget brands. So let's take a look at the first one. The first one I have is a Thorn, and you probably know which one this is. I did feature in my last AliExpress sales video. Now, the new thing about Thorn is they've gone for a new box. It's hard plastic, it's gonna be quite protective. Um, yeah, and it looks all right, you know, it's gonna be easy to stack, etc. And it's a bit of a change all those Pelican style boxes. So the first watch from Thorn, this is the latest Diver. Now this is homaging one of the latest releases from Seiko. Re Seiko did a reissue and they released, you know, the Marine Master line again, and they did it with a, just a beefed up 62 mass, in my opinion, with a new bracelet. Now, when it comes to Seiko, you guys know how much I love Seiko, but with the reissues and the latest watches, um, um, it's a huge turn off. I've definitely gone off Seiko on the new stuff, and, you know, I don't really rate them anymore. And for me, this was a bit of a letdown when Seiko did release it, because... I don't know, they could have done something different, something so much better. But basically, they re-released, you know, a Marine Master reissue, whatever you want to call it. And I think they are charging about three to £4,000 for it, but they have given us basically just a beefed up 6-2 mass. But in the world of homages and AliExpress, you know, this is where one of the best things about, you know, the whole AliExpress side of things is that they have homaged it pretty well, to be fair. I mean, they've captured majority of the aesthetics. They've even captured the bracelet that they did with that. To me, it's a design mismatch. I don't really like how it looks, but, you know, Thorne, let's see how good the quality of the case is and let's see how good, you know, the watch generally is in terms of just quality because there will be people that do like this watch. So this is what they've done um, and they've given us, I think, five different variants. You've got the red sort of gradented dial. You've also got this one that you see with the blue and black. They've also got an ice blue. They've got a full black on black as well. And they've also got a white dial with a steel silver bezel. Um, so in terms of like design so far, I think it looks pretty good. It's a solid stainless steel case. I AR coated sapphire crystal. You've got a ceramic bezel insert. You've got 120 click unidirectional diving bezel. Let's give that a quick check. Yeah, very decent. Not overly smooth. Um, not much play, just a tiny bit there. They've also managed to kind of execute the bezel in line with, you know, what the one that is homaging kind of looks like. And it's pretty good, to be fair. You've got 200 meters of water resistance. You've got a Seiko NH35, of course. Just having a look at the case, it's got some really nice features. It's a, you know, got bevels on the side, fully brushed, center polished links on the bracelet. Now this is an actual, it's like a four, five link bracelet. In reality, it's a three link, but you can see the, all the links are actually separate and individual. So what I can see so far in hand, guys, bearing in mind, I've just took out the box. There's a high level of execution uh, behind this, high level of quality behind it. Um, Thorn are generally good. They've had a couple of models which are really good. I mean, they're, that BB58 homage of theirs, which I always talk about. Um, and this one, to be honest, it feels like a really solid and really well-made watch. Let's check out dimensions and see where we stand with those. So it's just under 40 millimeters. Bezel is 40 exact. Thickness is 13.5 millimeters, which is pretty average. The log to log is just 47.8. But with these, I mean, they're not female end links, but they do have quite a drastic curve. So with those male end links, it's just at 51.5 millimeters with a 20 millimeter log width, I'm pretty sure. And the taper is a standard two mil taper goes on to 18. You also got a milled fold over clasp with twin pushers very high quality just look at that level of brushing on there very smooth um four five micro adjustments yes and i mean it's okay it's a good clasp it's not one of the older clasps that we used to see on these watches now the only thing i can see here is that everything is sterile you've got a display case back with nothing on there nothing on the clasp nothing on the crown no doubt there's a bit of cost saving happening here but the way i look at these watch cases that are totally sterile you know this is for the modding people out there as you guys know also mod so this would be a perfect 
space for a mod. If you want to turn this watch into something, you know, whatever you want to turn into, uh, it's a really good option to be fair because it's not branded, it's totally sterile. And yeah, you can put whatever dial you want in there. So all in all, the price is, you know, very cheap. It's £118. And from what I can see, it's a very high quality watch. Um, you know, there's no issues for this watch selling for a lot more. But yeah, Thorn have definitely upped the game as well. You know, everybody has. So I think everyone still active on AliExpress really needs to compete as the bar has been raised multiple times over the year and, and before. Uh, so that's quite good. Now, in terms of dial texture, and I don't want to give too much away, obviously leave some for the review, but it's this textured dial. You know, as Seiko do as well, sort of like the seafloor thing. Very good texture, very crisp printing. That Marine Master text is going to, you know, miff some people. To be honest, uh, you know, we like homages, but we don't like direct copyright infringements, I don't think. But, you know, definitely a good option. So I can't wait to get the full review on this and the feedback to you guys. So let's put this one away. The next one we have is the one from Watch Dives. So I've just noticed that Watch Dives have included a couple of extra bits now in the in the cases. So you've got this rather long uh, pin bar removal tool, which is handy. And then you've got one of these, you know, blaster removal tools in here as well. And I like these because these are quite small as well. Not like those big uh, blue things that used to get in every package. So this is the BB54 homage. I'll put the model number up, guys. Let me unwrap this and we can have a quick look at this as well. So here we have the Watch Dive WD7922. And it's a quartz powered watch. Now, what watch drives are doing quite a lot is they've released a bunch of new watches, um, watches that previously were available in automatic versions, and they released them in quartz versions, right? So, from Seiko Mecha Quartz watches to uh, the, in this one is a Seiko VH31, and they've put that in a few watches. So, I kind of like what they're doing because whatever cost saving they're making on the movement, they are actually putting forward in the watch cases. So there's many watch dives watches that we've seen and everybody else has seen where the quality of finishing and the case and bracelet is so high up there. Uh, and, you know, with the quartz movement, a lot of people do like that, especially if you got a few watches or you like that Pikmin Go feel, which something like this, you know, it, it's, it's brilliant, right? It's a classic design. It's a very popular design on AliExpress. So many brands have done this. And the watch dives gives us a quartz version, which I think is brilliant. The price for this is under £100, it's £95, and of course in sales you'll get it cheaper than that. Um, yeah, and it looks quite good. So you've got five different variants for this. You've got a full black on black with the white markings, you've got a blue on blue as well. Then you've got a three different variants of this black and gilt dial. So you've got this bezel combination, which is gilt and a bit of red on the top, that classical color. Then you've also got a plain black bezel and you also got a red bezel version. So, you know, all the variants that you could want. As I said, quartz powered Seiko VH31, 200 meters of water resistance, screw down crown, screw down case back, and you've got 120 click unidirectional bezel. The bezel insert on this one is aluminium or aluminum for our friends across the USA. Uh, and let's check that bezel. Yeah, very clicky, right? Very clicky, precise. Does it line up? Yes, it does. No movement. And yeah, a nice coin edge bezel. Now the case, I've just got to clean it up a bit. I've got my grubby fingerprints on there. But the case is finished really well. Really soft brushing. We've got the bevels that we like to see. Female end links, a very nice bracelet. Looks quite well finished. And it uses push pins, of course. There is going to be some elements of cost saving. You've got a fold over clasp with four micro adjustments, which is plenty, right? I like you know, the shortness of it as well, very proportionate to the actual bracelet. So, with the Watch Dives logo, nothing else on the case back. And yes, of course, a domed sapphire crystal. So, it's uh, you know a really good watch. I think it's going to be a great all rounder. I think a lot of people have bought this. I did feature this on one of my sales videos on the last one that I did, the back to school sale. Um, so yeah, guys, it's, it's a very, you know, interesting version. And if you haven't bought yourself one, you know what? I can tell you without doing the full review, but I'll do the full review that, you know, this is a no-brainer. Uh, Watch Dives have really stepped up to the point where I'd say they are the best budget brand right now. So case dimensions, you're looking at 37 millimeter case diameter, 11.5. This is spot on, really good thickness there. And a log to log off, just 45 and a half. And yes, female end links stays pretty much the same and 20 millimeter log width so 
really good example from watch dives so let's put that one away and open the last one the brand new the one that which has not been released yet by Cadison. So here's the new release from Cadison. It's yet to be launched on AliExpress. Uh, so when I do the full review, I'm sure the link will be active then. So let's open the box. Let's unpack the watch and show you the new Aqua Diver. So here we are, guys. This is the brand new release from Cadison, set to come out towards the end of September. This is called the Cadison CH237. Uh, Cadison have done a fair few releases. Uh, I missed the latest one, which looks quite good. It's actually rated really well on AliExpress. I'll put up a picture now. Of course, it's homaging a well-known Seiko. Um, and yeah, Cadison are a good overall budget brand. I mean, they're priced around the 50 to 80 pound mark usually. Uh, they have done a couple of good new watches. Um, you know, but you know, they're not as good as let's say watch dives, for example, because watch dives has just jumped up super high. I think they are the king of budget brands. Uh, but Cadison is still okay. They still got a really good customer base. So this is the new Aqua Diver. Uh, it comes in three different colors. And you've got this white dial with a bit of blue accents on there with a black bezel. You also got a gray dial. Uh, I've only got the renderings at the moment. And you also got a just a blue on blue. Um, you got a date wheel at six, which is quite good. Looks pretty decent. And this silvery white dial always looks nice. You know, a nice fresh look. You've got applied markers. I don't think there'll be much loom on this. So you only got a bit of loom on the handset. I don't see anywhere else on the markers. And already I can see a bit of flaws because it's called an Aqua Diver. So let's look at the specs. You've got a sapphire crystal, strong bezel insert, 100 meters of water resistance, which you don't really get on divers. You get 200 meters, but I'm indifferent about that because when it comes to a watch from AliExpress, 100 meters, 200 meters, unless it's certified, it doesn't really mean much. But a couple of things like the loom, there's no loom on the hour markers. I don't think the bezel inserts loomed. We'll find out in the full review. But just to have handset loomed, you know, it's not really a dive watch aesthetic. You do have a screw down case and a screw down uh, crown. So that's okay. You've got your model specs on the back, closed case back. And then you've also got this two micro adjustment like dress watch clasp. So, I mean, the gap on this is small. Usually these clasps have a bigger gap. So Seiko can learn something. But, you know, why would you have... Oh, it's a bit jammy as well, right? So let's get this open. But yeah, why would you have um, just a two micro adjustment, you know, fold over clasp? It's not really a dive watch clasp, but the watch is called the Aqua Diver. So a couple of issues there where Cadson have been in the game long enough now to know, you know, what box to tick. Um, the bracelet's okay. You know, it doesn't look like a, a traditional dive watch bracelet, but again, it's more of a dressier or a sportier bracelet. It is a five link bracelet held together with split pins, which is what we expect. Price wise, I don't know, they haven't released the price, but you know, being Cadison, it's going to be around the 100 pound mark or way less. Uh, you know, that's what they're usually coming at. In terms of just a brief look at the case and finishing, it does seem pretty solid in hand. The brushing and finishing, you know, just at the box, it looks pretty good. The fitment of the end links seems pretty decent as well. You got female end links, so that's good. Uh, in terms of looks, I mean, it's okay, right? It looks quite basic, uh, but just a couple of key things where. You know, it's missing, you know, for it to be a full-fledged dive watch. But I do like that color. Let's check out the measurements. So case is 40 millimeter. Thickness is 12 mil. And we've got 47 millimeter log to log. And I think that is 20 mil with no taper. Yeah, but standard 2 mil taper. And there we go, the new release from Cadison. So I'll review this probably at the end. So I've got the link on AliExpress to show you guys. And then those are the three models. We've got the one from Thorn, and we've got the one from Watch Dives. And in hand, I'd say the one that feels the most substantial is the one from Thorn. Um, thinking now, you know, after just having looked at it, it's really well made. Um, that's really impressive, actually. Whether or not you like the design or not. So I've got my personal feelings with that. Um, Obviously, the watch dives, you know, they're, they're working with, you know, industry's heavyweights, right? Like San Martin. And this case is astonishing. It's quite good. So I'm going to do the full review on this. And of course, the Cadison. So that's it for me today, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll follow up in a couple of days, weeks, just to get these reviews out as well. The links which I have available, I'll put in the description. So if you want to go ahead, purchase something just by looking at it, then please use those links. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.